<laughs> well, if you've ever wished you could go back to when flying was glamorous and entertaining, guess what? You're in luck. How about safe? CBS 2 Susie Sa takes us on board a local flight down memory lane. Hello, welcome. There was a time when you checked in to glamour. Wonderful first class, right? <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Tolan of Los Angeles was just 24 years old. In uh, 1970, the 747 fleet was new. When her dreams of seeing the world took flight. It was an elegant time in the sky. It was a beautiful experience. I have fabulous memories of that decade. As a stewardess for Pan Am. The goal has always been to take people where they want to go comfortably and safely. And on this night, Tolan and others, ladies and gentlemen, are excited to board. This is the door to the past. It's now 1974, on board a transatlantic flight on Pan Am. And that comes with all the airline authenticities. For example, the original stemware, the china, the silverware, even the flight attendant's attire. Everything on board the airplane appealed to all passenger senses. But safety first, of course. Place the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth. Every Saturday night in Pacoima, passengers pay from $295 to $355 for a ticket to stow away the present and fly to the past without ever leaving LA. It all takes place inside an airliner cabin designed to look and feel. Back then it was more about the journey. Like the jumbo jet that Anthony Toth of Redondo Beach first marveled at as a child. When I was five years old, I boarded a Pan Am 747 and that experience actually changed my life forever. I instantly became obsessed with aviation. 40 years of obsession turned into a cache of Pan Am paraphernalia and Air Hollywood's Pan Am experience. <laughs> When it's time for pretend wheels up, Captain Toth and his crew serve up the finest. Passengers seated in wide seats with plenty of lead room are treated for four hours to a four course feast, complete with champagne and Chateaubriand. Sometimes there are reminders of this pretend time travel, like when smoking used to be allowed on board, and with passengers taking photos of the 70s experience using cell phones. Designed by Edith Head. Before the final approach, a fashion show of the original stewardess outfits and more entertainment. Sure, it's a fake flight, but there's nothing staged about how high passengers feel when they deplane. Awesome, delightful, fun, luxurious. In Pacoima, Susie Sa, CBS 2 News. That's kind of cool. Well, she makes a cool. fine yeah. flight attendant. <laughs> Susie looks absolutely stunning in that outfit. I kind of remember the hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I flew with my parents. I was like in the eighth or ninth grade, and my dad actually bought me my first sport coat and tie. Oh, oh to go on the flight? Oh, yeah, and yeah. everybody on board had sport coats and ties. That's on.